In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the shop's general settings, live front-end products, and also the template design settings. So, this is how the shop looks like after I've configured some settings and added some content. On the home page, you can set up the number of products to appear, and the rest of them are paginated. On product detail, you can set up if related products and Facebook comments to show up or not and also to delete products from cart when an order is finished. On featured slider you can set up animation speed, autoplay and so on. On Facebook and sharing you have an option called Facebook Like Locker where if you upload an image the users can only see your shop if they click on like button. On currency setup you can add your own currency symbol like dollar, euro, pound and so on. You can choose to display before or after the price and you can also set a custom shipping cost for your clients and also a free shipping option if the user orders more than that amount. On collecting data you can choose what info to collect from your users for billing and shipping. You also have two custom fields where you can add custom messages. Next, on design configuration, you can customize the shop template easily. On images and buttons tab, you can upload your own logo, search button, shop cart icon, add to cart icon, navigation arrows, slideshow background, and so on. In footer content you have three areas where you can add any kind of content like a mini sub menu, some external links and so on. Using our custom shortcodes, you can customize the footer area, pages, mainly any content from the shop. 